Now, we're going to drop and we're going to put a single wall in, and that is a 15-foot single wall. Now we go to the add panel wall that's a single wall, and we're going to change that, and it's going to be 15 feet long. We're going to the height of that wall is going to be, according to this, is 5 feet, which is 10 rows. The elevation on this particular wall is now stepping back up, and we were going to go down to minus 5 on this wall, and we will press OK, and we should have a single wall pop into place. And there it is, single wall. And I can also, in, if I wanted to insert, if I want to create, and also I forgot that I wanted to put another wall in, I can click on this area or this area, wherever I want to within the wall panel, and I say, okay, I'm going to insert a panel. But it will copy the existing panel that I've just highlighted, and it will create another panel beside it. And it should pop right inside, and I say, okay, I want to save that new panel. So there we have created a new panel, and then I can edit that panel if I so choose. I'm just going to delete that panel. Because it's highlighted, I can delete this panel, and I say yes. And it will go back to the same wall. So any place I want to, I can create another wall. I can also ch click on this wall, which is number set, uh, 10, and I can change the position of that wall. So what I do is I can just go up arrow, and it will change the position of that wall. There it is. Or I can go back this way. If I feel that that wall is in the wrong spot, I can change my, my panel positions.